Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle inscribed in a rectangle A, B, C, D. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, diagonal A, C is uh, 25 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's focus on this uh, semicircle. We know that this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, semicircle. Likewise, OD is uh, radius as well. Let me call this radius R and this radius R as well. Then the diameter is going to become R plus R is going to be 2R. And since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, if this side is uh, 2R, then uh, this side is going to be 2R as well. Now let's focus on this radius. Uh, this is going to be R. Since we are dealing with this rectangle, then this side AB is going to be R as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side I'm going to call b. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is r, b is 2r and c is 25. So this is going to become simply r square plus 2r whole square equals to 25 square. And now we are going to solve for this radius r. So we got over here r square and this is going to become 4r square. 25 square is 625. r square plus 4r square, we're going to combine like terms. 5r square equal to 600 and 25. And now let's divide both sides by 5. This is gone. So therefore our r square value turns out to be 125. Let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore our r value is going to be equal to and now on the right hand side this uh, square root of 125 I have copied down over here and when we simplify this turns out to be a 5 times uh, square root of 5. Therefore our radius r turns out to be 5 times uh, square root of 5 uh, units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular OE on uh, this uh, diameter AD as you can see over here. And as a result, we got these uh, two right triangles, AOF and this uh, CEF. And we can see that these uh, two right triangles, AOF and uh, CEF, are uh, congruent triangles according to angle side angle theorem. Because in these triangles, these angles are 90 degrees. This uh, angle and this angle are congruent since they are interior alternate angles. Moreover, this side EC is equal to this side AO since both of them are our radius R. Now, since these two triangles are congruent, their area is going to be same. If this is a shaded region, then we can put this shaded region that is going to be same area. So therefore we can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be the area of uh, this uh, quarter circle. Now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where our radius uh, r is 5 times square root of 5. So therefore the area for this uh, quarter circle is going to be pi r in our case is 5 times square root of 5 whole square and since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle so we are going to divide it by 4 and now we know that the square of this 5 times square root of 5 is going to be 125 so therefore we are ended up with the 
125 pi divided by 4. So therefore, the green shaded region area turns out to be 125 pi divided by 4 square units. And if we replace this pi value, this uh, green shaded area is going to be approximately equal to 98.175 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be approximately equal to 98.175 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.